Okay, in this video I want to do an example of rationalizing denominators. And again, what they mean when they say rationalize the denominator, they just mean get rid of any radicals that are present in the denominator. So a, a very uh, common type of problem is what we have here where you have a binomial in the denominator. And again, the trick to get rid of the radical is you multiply the denominator and consequently, the, in this case, the numerator by the conjugate. So remember a conjugate says uh, all you have to do is if you have two terms you just change the sign in the middle. So in this case since it's negative we're going to make it into a positive. So I'm going to take root 5 plus 2 and since I multiplied the denominator of the fraction by that I'm also going to have to do it to the numerator. And just algebraically, this is the trick that's going to get rid of the radicals in the denominator. We will end up still having radicals in the numerator, but that's okay. So I'm going to write it one time. So we just, when we multiply fractions, we just take the top, uh, we just multiply what's on top. So 3 times the quantity root 5 plus 2. And then we just multiply what's on the bottom, root 5 minus 2, root 5 plus 2. And we have to be careful here, you know, we'll have to distribute, so 3 times root 5 is simply 3 root 5, there's not a lot to do. And then 3 times positive 2 will be positive 6. And in the denominator, okay, we'll have square root of 5 times the square root of 5. Since they're both underneath the square root, we can multiply those two numbers together and get 25. Then I'm going to take the outer terms, so the square root of 5 times positive 2, That'll give me positive 2 root 5. On the inside, I have negative 2 times the square root of 5, so we'll simply get minus 2 root 5. And then we'll have a negative 2 times a positive 2. That'll give me negative 4. And notice uh, there's not a lot to do in the numerator. 3 root 5 plus 6. But this is the whole point of multiplying by the conjugate. I mean, the square root of 25 is just 5, so that's no problem. Notice the terms in the middle are going to cancel out. We have a positive 2 root 5 and a negative 2 root 5. So, hey, they're gone. Minus 4. 5 minus 4 simply equals 1. Anything divided by 1 is just itself. So this first problem will simply reduce to 3 times the square root of 5 plus 6. All right, so let's do our other example here. Let me try to break this up. I think it's going to run together. I'm just going to do the exact same trick here. I've got 4. I've got root 7 plus 3. And again, I'm just going to multiply by the conjugate. So in this case, it'll be the square root of 7 minus 3. Since I had a plus originally, I'm going to make it into a, a minus. And again, whatever I do to the bottom, I have to multiply to the top. Whatever I multiply the bottom by, I have to multiply the top by as well. And again, I'm just going to be careful with my algebra. So I would distribute 4 root 7 is simply, you know, 4 root 7. I'll get positive 4 times negative 3. That'll give me negative 12. And then I'm going to have the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, which is the square root of 49. Or equivalently, that'll just be 7. Um, I'll have a, a root 7 times negative 3, so that's negative 3, the square root of 7. I'm going to have a positive 3, square root of 7. And then when I take my positive 3 and my negative 3, I'm going to get a negative 9. So it looks like, uh, I think we can do a little bit here. Whoops, sorry about that. So we'll leave the top part alone. 4 root 7 minus 12. In the denominator, notice again the negative 3 root 7 and the positive 3 root 7 will cancel. So we'll be left with positive 7 minus 9. Let's give ourselves a little more space here. Okay, so what I would do at this point, that's the same thing as 4 root 7 minus 12 divided by, so 7 minus 9, that would give us negative 2. And I think we can still do a little bit more here because 
we have a single thing in the denominator, so we can break up our, our fraction and make this 4 square root of 7 over negative 2 minus 12 over negative 2. So 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Square root of 7, I've got a negative and a negative. That's going to make a positive. 12 divided by 2 will give us 6. And again, we have now rationalized the denominator. Yes, there are still you know, radicals present, but as long as they're not in the denominator, that's all we're worried about.